Okay, <laughs> hello. Uh, we're setting up the shed here. It's insulated, it's warm. We've got it pretty low at the moment because we're not growing anything yet. We just want to show you the spider farmer, that has, spider farmer LED lights that have arrived. We don't just have one, but we have two. Very excited. This is the SF1000 and power rated to 100 watts. This one's already open, so I'm going to slide it out of the box, give you an overview, and we'll open the other one after that because we want to show you that when you link them together, when you dim one, they both dim. All right. Little manual there and a ca uh, product catalogue, I assume. We've got pulleys and cables which are supplied pretty sturdy and a good length I'd imagine for any grow tent or any situation. This is the updated model, it was updated in June 2020 I believe. Before it just had this the mean well driver in the centre and you had to unscrew it, take it, unmount it completely and then turn the dimmer with a screwdriver and it was it was not okay. So they updated it, put this little dimmer on the side, and yeah, hey, they included a cable, so we can try and link them together with this one, and we also have some ethernet that we had lying around. We can try it with that too. Power cable. Yeah, that's more than a meter. 1.5 maybe? Christian, what do you think? At least, yeah. Okay. Check that out. So this is the SF1000. We've got Samsung LM301Bs in here. This is full spectrum light, uh, a cluster of white, blue, red, and a couple of IRs in there as well. I'll just show you the panel and get rid of this box. And there it is. This is one show in the hand so you get a good idea of the size. We'll have all the dimensions and the full table of specifications in the description and also a link to our, our landing page with all the different images and whatnot, different applications. I'm gonna plug it in and uh, we'll show you the dimming on camera. Okay, so we've got both Spider Farmer SF1000s out of the box. I'm gonna show you one of them on, just in normal mode. Dimmed all the way down to 10% is the minimum and right up to 100. And then we're gonna link them up. Um, and I'll show you that one of them becomes a master and the other becomes a slave. So let's check it out. I'll turn this one on. It's recommended you don't, obviously you don't touch the LEDs while they're in operation. I'll hold the meanwhile driver here, nice and steady. This is at minimum brightness, 10%. See the row of reds in the center and um, blues and whites and some IRs in the mix as well. I'll turn this up now. It's gonna destroy Christian's beautiful video shot and light the whole room up. <laughs> okay, that's at 100%. You can see that's a good amount of light. And turn it right back down and off on the front, button on the front. There is another button on the back which is enables dimming and, and, and turns it off. We'll go through that again in another video. This is gonna be the master. We'll go out of channel two with the supplied RG45 and into channel one. And we'll turn them both on. There we go. And I hope you're gonna be able to see this. Wait, I'll lift this one and turn the other one up. So I'm turning the volume up on the master and the slave will respond. Right up to 100% and all the way down again. This is a really nice feature and we're so happy they, up, they updated it. As I said before, you had to unscrew the driver and mess around. It was not good. All right, I'm gonna leave it there and um, we'll do hanging and different applications and grow tent and above the RDWC in another video. All right, cool, see you then.